Hey everybody, it is Zach here from the Ad Boys, and welcome to one hour of spindle example kills. The goal of this video is to give some more spindle examples that I was not able to give in like the full spider guide. Uh, if you are looking for a full guide with more mechanics and like gear breakdowns, that guide will be linked in the description. In this hour, I will be on my group Iron Man account, which does have pretty high combat, but not maxed out. And definitely not using max melee gear, though the bludgeon does get some work done. So in general, uh, these are going to be some spindle example kills without max DPS to show that you can still grind these kills pretty easily, even with lower tier gear. Uh, if you have any questions about the spindle grind, let me know in the comments section below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Enjoy the hour, everybody. All right, let's start out by checking out the gear and the inventory setup. A little bit of risk action. Uh, we got the Helm of Nada's Knot, Myth's Cape, uh, Amulet of Strength. Abyssal Bludgeon, Monk's Top and Bottom, Barrow's Gloves, Climbing Boots, and a Berserker Ring. I don't have any Blessing on because I don't have any Rada's Blessing. Haven't done any of those diaries. And then the Blessings that you get from Clues, I don't have like a ton of them. So risking it for the plus one prayer bonus. We're just, we're just going with no Blessing. It's alright. Uh, and then a pretty simple inventory setup. Let's go ahead and look at it through the power of Risk though too. I'm currently, I'm smited for my Helm. So my fourth item, it's it's like half my risk right there almost. I mean, 50 out of the 124k, not quite half, but still pretty good chunk of the risk anyway. I can just protect item. Then most of that's just supplies and stuff. Like this really isn't too bad in the risk category, in the risk department. Let's go ahead and try to get this hour started. Uh, the worst part about Spindle, hands down at the moment, is how packed Spindle is. Finding a Spindle world, not very easy. I will say, if you have an alt or friends, this is where I, this is where I play the you don't have any friends meme. Uh, having somebody go into the room and clear out the bot for you is not a bad option. Going in and doing it yourself is not the worst, but like getting another account to put on some like PK gear and just kind of clear out a room is a pretty good way to get a room because there's they're all full of bots at the moment. They really are. It is currently 2.35 a.m. my time. This clock right here shows you local time in Cambridge, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is like the local time for um, like Jagex headquarters, in other words. So... Uh, Kind of give an idea of what time it is on like the EU side of things. Generally, uh, not quite peak times. I mean, there's a guy right there. There's a guy already here. So it's going to take a few hops to find a world. I am going to skip finding a world this time because we haven't quite started. But uh, during the hour, if I have to hop and find another world, like, well, let's see. Hold on. Let's see if this one's empty. Imagine. Do I have to skip? <laughs> yeah, let's go and skip. All right. That was actually like three worlds. That's kind of nice. That might be the fastest one we have. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's just get in there and start the fight. I don't know why I peaked a second time. I'm an idiot. Oh, it's almost dead at the moment as an Iron Man. That's an issue, but for the most part, it's nice to like have a world. So I really don't mind having to deal with this is one spiderling in the room too. You imagine using your darts, you fool. Is there a second spiderling? No, it just hit me twice. I was like, what just happened? All right, let's go ahead and put the strength XP on the screen. We've kind of started. Um, I don't even know where to begin now because of the distraction of that guy being at low health real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and sip up. Super strength, super attack, basically me, me super combat life. All stamina, too. I got my quick prayers right. So I had just set up my quick prayers at the beginning of that fight to protect melee, piety, and protect an item. I'm going to go ahead and dart up these spiderlings, trying to catch up quick. I'm going to get ranged, aren't I? Nope. Yeah, I took that range hit. Whatever. That was the first time she moved in the fight, so there's going to be no webs here. But now on the second time that she moves, we're three attacks away from webs. There's one attack. Two attack. And then webs right there. The reason I went to protect from magic there, she's always going to be using, like, well, she'll use a melee attack if you're standing next to her. But the time that she uses a web, she's always on her, like, mage rotation. So if you're not standing right next to her when she uses those webs, it will be a magic attack. So if you have to run to the corner to make sure that the webs are in a better spot for you, just protect from magic real quick. Not as big of a deal with Spindle as it is with Venonatus, as she is weaker, but still, it's kind of nice. So we just saw the webs disappear as she was moving. I know that I have one more movement until webs, kind of because of that visual timing. Plus, she spawned the spiderlings on the last movement. So there's two movements since a special attack, meaning we got another spec coming, but it'll be three hits. There was one, there was two. The webs are always on the third hit of that rotation, whereas the spiderling, she spawns right away. So there's a movement, no special attack this time. In other words, when she moves next time, the first attack she uses after moving, she's going to spawn those spiderlings, right? Let's see. There she has moved. She attacks me, and there's the spiderlings, yeah. Gets it wrong, has to restart the, the whole video, remake the whole guide. <laughs> 
We're getting there. We're getting there. I gotta get used to the fact that I need to keep my prayer points kind of low because I'm now using a bludgeon. Uh, I've been using a lot of bludgeon, but I just did my hour of venonatus where I was using the... Hold on. One attack. Two attacks. So this next one's gonna be webs, by the way. Woo! I was just using the Ursine Chain Mace on my main, so I was just flinging specs whenever. The main thing is just staying at low prayer points in general. It's easy, like, when you can sip a restore and get prayer points and it wouldn't be, like, a waste, like, you're not getting full prayer points out of that, it's, like, generally a good practice to just go ahead and sip that restore real quick. Went a little early on those darts, so it made me step in to throw it to the Spiderling. I tanked a range hit for that, but she had a zero anyway. Let's go and use that spec. Uh, kind of a dumb time to use the spec. She didn't have a lot of health left. <laughs> I was so happy that I didn't have very many prayer points. 14k in cash. Let's go, dude. It's actually, uh, let's see. What is his name? Calvarion drops 12k in cash. So the spider gives a little bit more cash. At least the little one does. Both Venonatus and Vedian, the two multi-combats for the spider and the skeleton, they drop 50k cash. But the singles plus ones, uh, the spider drops more money than the, the skeleton. I don't know what made him decide that balance, but I appreciate the extra 2k occasionally. It adds up. It's still less cash than getting, like, a rune pickaxe, and we all know I'm not getting the dragon pickaxe. Let's open that jar of worms real quick. We're still still trying to discuss the fight, right? It really is. Once you get into this rotation, it, it becomes a little, like, brainless, a little mindless. I shouldn't say brainless because you fuck it up. If you're brainless, I fucked it up before. I also just sipped back-to-back -back restores instead of using the spec. I'm, I'm not going to use that many specs with low prayer points. I'm not used to it. Uh, anyways, what are we talking about? Uh, not that hard to, like, not pay that much attention to this rotation and still get the webs right. Like, we just saw the webs disappear right as she moved, so we know the next movement is when she's going to set up for more webs. And then just remembering it's the third attack after whichever movement happens. So there's the atta the movement, excuse me. One attack. Second attack. Not getting there. Weak. Weak. Oh, well. We'll just have to restart the recording. I'm going to make that joke at least seven times before I get, like, a dragon pick or something. Uh, we do have a dragon pick on our group Iron Man team, thanks to Blue getting one at over the drop rate on Calvarion. And my boy has KC on Spider and Bear, too. So, like, it took him over the drop rate after it was already taking me over the drop rate. It's not like he just showed up and got it immediately. We had to, we had to grind in general. So, the Absolute Beast did get one. And if I were to manage a second one for the squad, we got a team of five. And, you know, having a second dragon pickaxe is really cool for, like, Tombs of a Mask. It's not required, but it's super cool, so... There's 10 dragon pickaxes right there. We just listed off. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Void Waker gem would be massive. Because we do have some Void Waker blades. But just the regular drops here are pretty huge, too. I probably could have just bludgeoned real quick. But you could hit a few zeros in a row and take some more damage in prayer drain. So I just KO'd those, those little guys real quick, too. Cash again, dude. This is going to be a real exciting video when we don't get cash. It's fun to have a full hour's worth of loot in there, too. That's part of the hour of videos, just to see an hour's worth of loot. Um, every hour is very different at a boss. If you did 10 hours in a row the same boss, you're going you're gonna to get 10 very different screenshots of your loot in general. If you took a screenshot every hour, like, of what your loot tab looked like, whatever. Um, but still, it's kind of nice to see one hour's worth of loot. And I'm telling you, there's some more exciting loot here than... Cash. The cash ain't even like a good one because a lot of the Alex are better cash. All right, one attack there. There's the second attack happening, and Webertons. You don't have to go that hard with webs on Spindle compared to Venonatus. Venonatus webs are massive, dude. It takes up so much space. The Spindle webs aren't as bad, but it can still get you. You know, don't be an idiot. That's my advice. Put out a full hour video just to tell you not to be an idiot. And you still act like an idiot. <laughs> Ugh. I made the joke during Venonata's video that because you have to throw steel darts fairly commonly, you get some range XP while doing this. That actually matters on an account that doesn't have 99 range, though. I'm getting like 4k range XP an hour currently. Get Webertons coming in hot. We like that XP life. Even right now, getting over 50k strength XP an hour is nice. Once we add in having to bank and find another world that is going to drop. I'm telling you, it's, it's packed out here. It really is. 
It depends on the night still, but like, more commonly, you're gonna find that you have to hop often. I don't, I don't really think that sentence came out right, but I'm just gonna leave you on that one. <laughs> Uh, so that web just disappeared, like, right as we were moving. I know for sure that it's going to move one more time before doing webs. That's one visual cue. Like, generally after she puts out the webs, it's right after she moves. Like, after she spawns spiderlings. So here's that web where it's in right here. Uh, we're not going to get an example of this kill because she's almost dead. We'll lock on that next kill. Oh, I thought she was already dead. Oh, GG's, dude. One health to rule them all. Boop. Yo, a different drop. Three super stores, not bad. Generally, you can just like turn blighted super stores into super stores by fighting Venonatus. It, it costs some super combat stuffs, a little bit of food, which you could also do blighted Karambons, and stamina potion. All right, so first, uh, first attack she uses is always going to be spawning those spiderlings. We know when she moves two times, we got webs coming in hot. Basically, if webs were already out, they would disappear like right now. The time that she moves after she has already spawned spiderlings. Generally, that's when the webs are disappearing. So that means when you see the webs that were already out disappear, you generally she's going to move one more time. This should be web life. And I ran away, so it's not really cornered, but that, I mean... Basically, if you cut it off on the edge to where the size of the webs, like, there's no way she could drag me into that. And you're good to go. It's not the worst case scenario to be stuck in those webs, but... You can drain a lot of supplies in one fight if you mess it up. You're not going to get, like, KO'd because of it, necessarily. Well, you might. Some PKers get KO'd. Some uh, people hit the anti-PK by just bringing, like, a, a ZGS in here and just freezing people as she's going to use the web. And people, like, PKers are not ready to, to run away. All right, on the third attack here, I think we're getting this one. We're getting this one. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, now we're getting the Void Waker gem. That's what I'm talking about. That would be huge. That would be massive. Uh, Void Waker Gem might send me to some more bear life, which that's the next guide I got to put out of the Willy Bosses is Callisto. All right, hold on. Before we talk about that. So you'll see when she moves here, these webs are going to disappear like right around when she moves. She's moving now. We get like an extra attack. But basically now, because we just saw them disappear, we even if I was paying no attention to anything else, I know for a fact she's moving one more time. And then it's her third attack for webs. It's always on that third attack after the, the correct movement. So one attack, two attack, and Webertons. So you don't even really have to count too much of her attacks. There's a couple of visual cues that help you out. GG Spindle. Uncut Diamonds. Kind of weak, but not that bad because it's still helpful. She also drops straight up uh, Enchanted Diamond Bolts, which have been stacking up pretty well for me. I got like over a thousand in the bank, but didn't make any myself. Like, oh, that's convenient. So that wouldn't be one of the more expensive drops for a main, but for the Iron Man, there's decent supplies out here. I don't see the other Spiderling. There it is. I'll get it in a second. One more bludgeon attack. GG's. Let's try not to sip a restore for a little bit. Three attacks till Webertons. Two attacks till Webertons. Webertons! Now that's a good corner. Beautiful. And now if you stand over there the whole fight, you get bonus RNG. No, I'm just kidding. Stay away from the Webertons. What would I know? I have crap RNG at Spindle. <laughs> Compared to my Calvarion. My Calvarion hunt on Group Iron Man. It went so well that I'm doing Spindle now. Either way, I would have done this hour of video for Spindle on the group Iron Man. But I probably would have had like only like 20 KC and had been barely doing any Spindle if it weren't for the fact that uh, I got really lucky on Void Waker pieces from Calvarion. I'm like, if I get another Void Waker piece, it needs to be like a new one, not repeat pieces. We need to actually make progress towards the Void Waker if I'm not going to get Dragon Pickaxes. Let's just dump one of those specs. I could have done better on the prayer points, but like just being at 100% spec energy is just kind of a waste of that, uh, that resource. Spiderling is coming in hot. I should have brought some extra super restores also. 
Or I could have put those regular super restores like not in the bag and just use them. I'd really, I'd rather just only use Blighted's out here for the Iron Boy. But you get a decent amount of Snapdragon drops here and you get a lot of red spider's eggs here. I'll hold on real quick for Webertons. Do it for the vine. Do it for the drop. Bonus RNG when you draw deck. <clears throat> get it. Please. 18 damage. Do it. Oh, 19. That's crazy. I, dude, I told you. Did I not tell you bonus RNG? That's insane. I mean, it's kind of nice. You get back more Limpworts than the amount you're going to use through your super strengths, so. That's better for the Iron Man, but that is one of the weakest. There's not many drops worse than the Limpies. I'm currently trying to think of one worse. I'd rather take 18... Uh, no, this is, I'm about to lie. Well, I kind of like the 18 limp worts instead of 14k cash because there's a lot of other ways to like get cash in general and this just dodges some some farming and whatnot. But like it's not that big of a deal to farm limp worts. It's so, so easy to get a lot of limp worts. I also sipped some restore. I got all these prayer points. Shouldn't use my spec yet. Minidia, dude. It's alright, we're cruising, we're cruising. Already 5k C in. Not a bad pace for just some bludgeon life. I never really checked stats for you guys to show. I'm 85 attack, 92 strength, so we're not rocking max DPS even with this setup necessarily. And I started these kills with lower stats too. Calvarion's a little bit nicer with lower stats than Spindle. Spindle will drain a decent amount of prayer if you have bare minimum stats because the fight will take a little while. But you get actual like good prayer supplies back with red spider's eggs and snapdragons. And last man standing can supply you with all of the blighted super restores you need. I talked about this a little bit in the Venonatus video, but we'll we'll go back over this uh, in this vid because it is legit that I just tipped the super restore. I, I'm telling you, I can't remember to have low prayer points. Anyways, um, last man standing for one last man standing point, you can get four blighted super restores. There's a lot of things you can buy in that store. But one of the things you can do is four blighted super restores. Uh, and if you if you don't know shit about PvP and you're like, well, how hard is it to get one last man standing point? There are times where like you'll fight against somebody that's really good and you do have to kill somebody to get a point. You can't get any points without killing someone. But it is packed with bots. You know how Spindle's packed with bots? So is LMS. There's a lot of places with a lot of bots. At the moment, the last oh pretty much every time I've gone to LMS, it's not that uncommon for like your very first person that you're fighting. Is somebody who just turns on one one overhead prayer, uses the same attack style, and just like auto retaliates. Maybe they eat, but it's pretty much a free kill, which is a free point. So occasionally you do just get free points. And if, if you don't really like PvP at all, it's hard to convince you that it's fun. Uh, I think LMS has been a lot more fun because each time we go to LMS, we've gotten like four or five homies to show up to LMS, and we get a lot of fights against each other, and it's a lot more fun. Like fighting somebody on the friends list and seeing who's gonna win than just some rando. Cause a lot of randos are like salty and fucking toxic about it. A lot of them aren't, actually, to be fair. A lot of a lot of people don't say anything. LMS is a lot of fun. Every single time I've decided to go do last man standing on this account. Oops. Every single time that I've gone to do it, I've had a good time. And I've gotten some decent gains on it. I'm mostly doing it now for the bladed supplies. I first did it for my rune pouch. I got the Zami God Sword. Like, uh, ornament kit thing, the spec ornament kit. Because I was enjoying LMS, and I just kept doing it, finally got enough points for it. And I was like, might as well buy it, because that's the god sword that we have at the moment on the team. But now that I'm doing Willy Boss, it's like, all my points are going towards, like, blighted super restores. Um, pretty much mostly that, but, uh, I have Arteo coming in hot, and those blighted, like, freezes, those ice sacks, are massive. Those massive sacks, huge sacks. I'm talking about, like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to say voluptuous, dude. I'm out. I'm out. We're getting distracted, man. It's starting to get hot in this room at 3 a.m. I gotta turn the air conditioning on, which will give a slight white noise. Mike won't pick it up too much though. And you guys got some background music of old school RuneScape tunes coming in hot. But if you if you think like, man, about a third of the way through this video, I feel like it was. It's like he turned his air conditioning on. I, I'm about to. I'm. I'm dying. I'm dying. Ladies and gentlemen, I missed that second spiderling, 
not a huge deal. But if, like, if Venonatus is about to move again, it's really nice to have your melee weapon on and be targeted on her so you're always standing next to her. This is Spindle, not Venonatus, but same thing. So once I miss that dart, instead of just trying to brute force it and use another, I just put on the bludgeon, attacked Spindle, and decided I was going to KO the Spiderling once I got to the next spot. It's really not that detrimental to get attacked by the Spiderling a couple of times. I think I got to double click my prayers a little bit, save some prayer points. I got one more sip. Oh, messed it up, messed it up, messed it up. Pro, pro. Shouldn't have sipped that before I used... By the end of this hour, I'll understand how the spec works. For those who don't know, like, it's not like a general spec thing. Abyssal Bludgeon spec specifically is more damage when you're missing more prayer points. It's like Darox with prayer. Uncut Diamonds. I will say that is a very weak trip at Spindle for trip number one. That being said, for the group Iron Man, look at it. I kind of like that, though. A little bit of cash, Alk Life, Diamonds, Limpworth, some restores. That's pretty average. We got decent kills to start. If you're not getting a really good drop every 20 minutes at a boss, though, absolute waste of your time. Am I right? No, it's all right. We'll, we'll get back out there and get something good, you idiot. Why don't... Okay. Here's a philosophy I need to start diving into a little bit more. Just get the drop. Okay. It sounds very complicated, but I'm thinking about the just get the drop philosophy. I'm going to dueling ring my way back out to Ferox Enclave. Just get the drop. Just, ah, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I'm, I'm gonna start thinking about that one. I'm gonna start thinking about that one. I am two uniques in with the spindle table. In other words, uh, I've gotten two uniques from Spindle himself. It was Fangs of Venonatus and a Treasonous Ring. It's about a 1 in 103 to hit the unique table for the singles plus combats. I'm bring two extra super restores, see what's up. In other words, I'm a uh, few kills away, what, 30 kills or so away from being like dry for a third unique. I've been on pace for hitting the unique table at Spindle. I just, I didn't get the dragon pick, which I would really like one. All right, I caved, turned on the air conditioning, sweating a little bit, losing the water weight for the fight. This would be so savage if there's nobody in this room. Nobody came into the room during, like, the nine kills. It just got seven kills. That doesn't mean that there was nobody outside that peaked at some point, but... Usually when it's packed, at least somebody shows up with a skull to try to scare you out, or even somebody who's just wearing the gear and just went in there without peeking. Activity inside, though! Almost went to hide my world because I'm used to hopping on stream. I'm gonna... Push it to some US servers and see what's up. Uh, just mess around for an empty world is not the same as like hiding from PKers, I guess. Wow. Wow. It has been weeks since I hopped once and found an empty Venonatus world. And again, this is Spindle, not Venonatus. But and again, uh, the fight has begun already. Somebody like probably was getting PK'd and had to leave. But, I mean, I'll take it. I gotta do 150 damage to this thing, and then I have the world, as opposed to hopping around all the time. Is this gonna be Weberton's? Nah. This should be right here. Very nice. Stamina up. Still getting some strength XP out of this. Actually, the strength XP out of here is not that bad. Like, 40 to 50k an hour. Legit, though, a little bit less than 40 more often because of hopping worlds. Like... I'm not getting 40k XP an hour every hour, but if we get 40k plus in this hour, we could. We're on pace at the moment. That's kind of nice. It's not like a lot. But getting 40k XP an hour um, while bossing, think of it like 400k XP every 10 hours. 10 hours is a long time to just sit down and grind. But when it comes to uniques and drops here, 10 hours of spindle. I guess if I was doing like 20 kills an hour, that would be, that'd be 200 kills. 25 kills an hour is not unreasonable. I'm probably at like 10 to 12 hours of spindle. It's like 500k strength XP I've gained out here. I mean, that's kind of nice. Half a mil strength XP when I didn't come out here because I needed to train strength. I needed the drops. Oops. We got another spiderling still. I'm 
Nice. I'm going to use a spec. 43 per nice. A little lopsided Pac-Man. There we go. Okay, okay. Any Pac-Man mains? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? And now that we got our Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, reference out of the way, we'll talk about more of <laughs> RuneScape. I'm getting nervous as I talk about Venonatus Uniques and Spindle Uniques that I'm going to get the wrong one. But I shouldn't be nervous about that because... I've already been through that so many times. Like, you think I'd be used to getting the wrong one? Uh, yikes. It's dope to get some uniques out in the wildy, but the main thing I was thinking when I originally started to try wildy boss kills in the group Iron Man was like, dude, I could cheese a dragon pickaxe. And I shit you not, the saga has been three Void Waker blades, all from Calvarion. Four Skull of Vedian. I think three of them from Calvarion, one from Vedian. Vedian Pat from Vedian himself, not from Calvarion. And then Fangs of Venonatus and Treasonous Ring here. Dude. I was looking for the pickaxe. I didn't even get a two hand yet either. Our team has um, two dragon two hands. Blue got him. Blue was going dry for Dragon Pickaxe also, but hit some different uniques than I did. He's also gotten a few RTO kills. If I see that Void Waker gem while I'm out here, I'll be looking at RTO grind in general. Like I was saying before, no matter what, this was going to be an hour of spindle in the group Iron Man, but this actually is the boss that I'm doing when I get some wildy boss grinds in on stream. I usually do spindle at the moment. Though my favorite to do is the skeletons. Vedian and Calvarian are a lot more fun. Spindle's not too bad, though. Arteo's not that bad, either. They're all packed, is the thing. You gotta find a world and then cherish that world. Oops. Don't run too far. Ranged. Only for a six, not that bad. My guy. Only for a four, not the bad. Webertons. Sheesh. Kind of dancing around for a little bit. We're back. We're back. Let's just sip the super restore before using the spec. Uh, we're not back. Never mind. Look, turned the air conditioning on in my room like three minutes ago, and it's still kind of hot. I'm, I'm dying over here. I'm dying over here. Ironically, with the spiderlings draining my prayer a little bit, kind of pushes me towards having a better max hit sooner on that special attack. I just went over there like it would be Webertons, just because I, I kind of got lost on where we were on the rotation. The just-in-case webs. And it wasn't, but if it was webs, it would have cornered them that time anyways. The Wildy Boss random events. Why? Why Rick Turpentine? He's out here. Isn't Rick's uh, the whole spiel is like it's like uh, what's ah, what is that show? My name is Earl, where he's he's like trying to make up for like oh my god! I, there it is. I found it. The drop worse than Limpworts. Dark fishing bait. Anyways, um, the whole point is Rick Turpentine is like he did he did a bunch of crime previously. He's trying to make up for it, so he like gives you some coins or some shit. Like, aren't you here to, like, help me? You literally, your your whole job is to, like, repent. But you show up and, like, make the fight worse for me. Like, what are you doing here, Rick? Not a good time, Rick. Then I get dark fishing bait. Rick. Yeah, I wasn't really looking for 200 dark fishing bait. We got a weak loot tab for this hour of spindle at the moment. You never know, though. There's a few different drops that are, like, 100k plus. Kind of messed those Webertons up, didn't you? I took a magic attack in there, too. That 17 had to be from a magic hit when I was too far away from Spindle. Nothing else would have hit me for a 17 there. Very nice. So keeping up a good pace overall. 
yet. With a lot of supplies in this trip still, we might not have to take too many trips. If we can keep it up. Oh, this could be Weberton's. Oops. That means not that much world hopping is what I was getting at. Spec for the 36 kind of weak. Regular hit for a 39 right after. Yeah, I'm going to ignore those. Just KO him. KO him. Do it. Very nice. Sixty super compos. This is another one that I've talked about. It's not as great on the iron. It seems kind of nice on paper, but it's just so convenient to turn super compost into ultra compost while it's in the compost bin, especially the one in like the farming guild. So the noted super compost isn't massive. Technically, it's still helpful though. Technically, we still use it. Good. Technically, we still make it into some ultra compost. It's available. It's not the worst, but I was looking for like a 50 mil Void Waker gem. It's crazy. 50 mil Void Waker gem, 60 noted super compost. You know, I, I can see where you got confused. Okay, I can see it. Please, Venonis, please. I kind of just sipped that stamina because I saw I didn't have like full run energy and I had the ability to sip it. Uh, brain dead. Brain dead. I've only done a few hours of spider tonight and I'm already lost. I didn't really need to sip it. In other words, trying to have a lengthier trip and I'm down to only one sip of stamina if I mess anything up. Whatever though. It's actually a pretty solid trip no matter what and we're almost 30 minutes into the hour already. We're only at 10 kills though. This will be 11. Ah, a 20 kill hour is not too bad with this setup. I'm not doing insane DPS. I'm gonna hit that spec. Mm, dude. Oh. I immediately hit higher. We'll get there. We'll get a good bludgeon spec today. Uh, I kind of messed up those webs a little because I went too early there, but whatever, whatever. We still KO'd. Boop. Super combats with the limpies. Dude, the limpies? <laughs> what is this? I had uh, I had decent loot in the hour of Venonatus that we did earlier, so uh, I guess. I guess I get it. Any drop now, you get something thick, though. And again, it's still technically actually Dax, since you're an Iron Man. I can still use those limp words. It's not like useless. It's just not as hype to get 18 noted limp words. Though I've used like five or six doses of super strength and gotten 36 limp words now. Like numbers wise, it's pretty good. There we go, fellas. We did it. We drew the dick. What? I have one mark tile in this whole place. <laughs> Up to 50k an hour right now in strength. I'm actually kind of hype on that. Those are pretty solid gains in before PKers. We're also a little bit over halfway through before the first PKer shows up. Now that I'm saying something, it'll happen. But once you think about it, you already jinxed it. Like, too late, too late. Um, that's usually... I'd like to see no PKers in the first like 20 minutes of an hour of Wildy Boss video to try to get mostly examples of the boss and then potentially some PKing examples in there too because that is part of the grind. So being 30 minutes in without seeing any of them, that's pretty sweet, but also like that's not like an uncommon thing. There, are, There's definitely times you're going to be out here within, while you're out here for 30 minutes, you'll see multiple teams of PKers. <laughs> Excuse me. Sudden hackage. Um, there's also plenty of times where you see zero PKers. I have six hour logged during Wildy Bosses. Not often, <laughs> jeez. But, um, it's definitely happened. 
So it helps to have like more options for worlds and stuff like 2.2k worlds tend to make a big difference, but Right now we're in not a total level world at all, huh? We weren't in a total level world in the first one either. So in non-total level world, it's been like half an hour without a PKer. Seeing like one group of PKers an hour is like not a bad pace in general because that doesn't guarantee you got PK'd and lost your loot once per hour by any means, especially in Spindle. If you're really, if all you're focusing on is seeing a skull, you could be on top of teleporting pretty easy. Um, but in general, like, it still slows you down to see PKers even if you escape. The PKers per hour ratio does make a difference on your grind for sure. Now, every time I sip the super store, I still go over to it and sip it because I like I know I should. I'm feeling it. Like, oh, go get some prayer points. And right as I sip it each time, I'm like, wait, what's my spec energy? Like, oh, idiot. Whatever. Some people just aren't good at the game. Me. Look at me. Oh, my God. Blowing it. Again, though, when you have those spiderlings out, them draining prayer, ironically, is helpful for that special attack. I don't care too much about that, though. We have we have a limited, quote-unquote, supply of super restores. The Blighteds are easy to get more back, but it's, there's still some time involved. Even if you get a lot of LMS points per hour, it's not like it's unlimited. It's, uh, points per hour. If it's unlimited points, it means I have unlimited hours. Like, we're all going to die one day, boys. You didn't think we were going to get so deep during an hour of spindle. In general, early on in the spindle grind, I was using a lot more restores per kill than I wanted to. I got a little bit more DPS and tried to focus up on using less restores. And it helped out a lot, but since then I've been a little more weary of like, if I do a few hundred spindle kills, that's going to be a lot of super restores overall. Four super restores for every LMS point. It's like a rune pouch. Not that hard to get through LMS. That's 75 points. Instead, could have been 300 blighted super restores. It's a lot. I'm not using quite a full super restore per kill, but that's a reasonable average. So like 300 spindle kills worth. Ooh, we got the pickaxe. We did it. I like the bonus food. Pick up some darts as we're having kind of a long trip. Still not even halfway through the darts that I brought with me, though. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. So I, I kind of messed up on the second spiderling. When Venonass is about to move, you really don't want to have darts in your hand and still be fighting the spiderling. I, spin, I keep calling her Venonass. They're the same boss, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they're the same boss. Um, you, really, you do want to be like targeting and following Spindle when he's running around. So if you mess up on those spiderlings and you know, it's every four attacks that Spindle's moving. So you know like Spindle's about to be moving anyway. You might as well put your bludgeon back on, whatever melee weapon you got, attack Spindle. And let yourself kind of auto run to the, the next correct spot. And once you get there, put on those darts and KO that other spiderling. quick movement so that was like one attack already too is this gonna be webs there yeah so when she uses that real quick attack when she barely moves you didn't really see a zero on me it's it's tricky tricky kind of fucking bullshit oh, I don't know why I'm going over here like there's gonna be more Webertons I'm an idiot that's why born this way okay born this way Still kind of balling. We're up to 13 kills in the hour right now. With actually probably one of the worst, like, 13 kills I've taken out of any spindle, any, any individual spindle sample of 13 kills. Some of the worst loot I've gotten so far. So, highlight? There it is, dude. There it is. 14k in cash. Bummer. That was a quick kill, though. Yeah, dude. A lot of kills for, like, no loot in there. Bummer, bummer.
not every hour is gonna be a lot of cash and this specifically is the lower risk lower reward version of this boss but in general i do like to hope for just really sick loot during each of my hour of videos i should hope for the opposite though i've actually had pretty bad luck in my hour of videos not like bad luck i just haven't gotten any uniques really i happen to get that crazy call if you watch my hour of vetting there might be a dragon pickaxe from there, the rarest shit that I got during any of my hour ofs was like KBD heads during my hour of KBD. It was like 1 in 128. It's not that rare. Like in terms of uniques, the most expensive thing I got was the Venator shard, actually. I got a Venator shard at like 5 mil was like the cost when I did an hour of Muspa. It's like a 1 in 100, so it's not extremely rare. That's not that bad. That was one of the, <laughs> that was one of the better uniques I've pulled. I've gotten good drops in general in the game. When I sit down to record an hour of example kills for a specific boss, I don't really get shit. It's because I'm supposed to be focused on how the kill goes, discussing how to fight the boss. I really feel like I've done that, though. If you just watch the rhythm of this boss, very easy to get into it. Um, and it's generally very good loot. That's the part that I'm not proving too much right now. Next movement she'll be set up for Webertons. Go close to the spot. Do it. Ah, look how far away you are. Oh, well. We'll corner it. Ran back a little soon. Nah, beautiful. Easy. Shouldn't even have to deal with the next spiderlings, right? Let's go bludgeon. Two hit range, my guy. Here comes spiderlings. One hit range. Scared. There we go. <laughs> what do you got for me? Mm, if anything, a lack of variety in drops. More of those diamonds. Whatever. Getting some more super combats, which is nice. I don't bring any super combats out here because I don't really need the super defense that bad. So it's a bit of a save on some, like, torsals and whatnot to just bring the super attack and strength. And then occasionally I'm banking super combats out here, so... You know, mathematically, we're... We're farming some super combats while doing that. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, I guess there's, there's a decent variety in drops for an Iron Man in general. For the most part, if you get a spindle kill, you're going to get something that you can use somewhere that's like kind of nice. We haven't necessarily got the top tier options in this hour so far. But we're only like two thirds of the way through. I just sipped that super sword in. I? Ah, it was pretty low prayer. It's alright, we got some time. You're really only wasting, like, special attack. If, if you have a special attack weapon and you have full special attack energy, that's when you're wasting it. Like, as long as it's always recharging and giving you more, and you're making some good gains with that spec. On this third attack is going to be webs. One... Two, a three. I'm gonna hit that spec life. Missing so many prayer points for a 19. Ha <laughs> ha, dude. Baited. Masturbated. What? Oh, nah, that guy's got a cudgel in his hand. He ain't here to PK. He could be here to scout for a PK air, but whatever. We'll push it. I've been getting shit loot. I'm not risking that much. GG's Spindle. Dude. We've gotten like four different drops. Super Compost, Limp Words, Cash, Rune Pickaxe. <laughs> uh, the Noted Diamonds. And Dark Fishing Bait. I think we got one Blood Rune drop. <laughs> Looks like the best drop was Blood Runes. Uh, I can get this one still. There we go. Solid moves with the Spiderlings. At least we're having lengthy trips. That's really a thing. You can't control much about your RNG. And you really should spend your time focusing on the things that you can control in general. 
Uh, what you can control is getting as many kills as possible so that eventually you do get the good drop. Which I have gotten plenty of good drops here. It just happens this one sample video. We're not getting good drops. And I know, I'm here to give examples of how to get the kill, but it's cool that there's also like a thick drop in the video. This is a hell of a trip at the moment, though. Uh, not insane. I think this is like 10th kill on the trip, though. I usually don't quite get 10 kill trips on the group Iron Boy. Oops. No, I still got it. Ah, I thought I messed up Webertons. I freaked out early. Premature freak out. Yo, hit that. Mm, a 22 is weak. Finally using the spec with low prayer. All it does is raise your hit. The attack that inflicts more damage. Yeah, so... It's based off the hit that you already land, you do more damage. So if you rolled like a 5 anyway, you're not going to increase the damage by too much. GG's, send it, dude. Almost out of steel darts. It's a hell of a trip. Running out of steel darts. No, oh, I thought it was super compost, but instead the limpies. Wow, dude. This looks like the drop table. There's like nothing. There's, there's five, maybe six different drops in the drop table. Stacking up some RNG for my upcoming strum. I have a stream tomorrow that I'm going to be doing some Zora and some Spindle on this account. So, maybe I'll get drops then. Look, we didn't get any drops at last weekend's Next Life. So, maybe we've just been pooling up the RNG a little bit, you know? I want to check the bag to see how much I'm risking, but let's work on this kill. I'm thinking about hitting that Bank Life. We don't really have to, and it's it's better for kills per hour to bank as little as possible. I'm pretty low on restores, so we'll have to bank either way in a couple of kills. Oh, I just sipped one as we got the 50 special attack energy. Whatever, we're cranking right now anyways. Haven't had to sip the stamina potion since I got upset with myself for sipping it. LFG. An LFG moment would be a dragon pickaxe during the hour of spindle. What are we at? 289 KC spindle. It's about, I think it's a 1 in 358 dragon pickaxe from spindle. So I'm approaching drop rate, but I have over the drop rate for dragon pickaxe at Calvarion. I have like 30 Vedian kills, which is only a small portion of a dragon pickaxe drop rate, but still. I'm like two drop rates worth. Why? Why no pick? Send me the D pick. DM me the D-pick. Spec coming in hot. Send it. End it. Mm, it sent it. End it. <laughs> I hate that I just said the second part of that. Mm, for, for what? Actually, kind of nice. Could get a longer trip for what? Ah, uh, not really going to look for that much longer of a trip, though, because I don't have the super attack and strength anymore anyways. Bank trip would be reasonable. And I do like to just stock up more super restores for other things. Only use the blighteds out here. So let's do the one more kill on this trip. And then send one more. Hopefully just one more with how little time we have left for an hour. If we if we get multiple trips after this one, actually that could mean I got good loot and had to bank. But that also could mean PKers. Yeah, we're like 45 minutes in or something without any PKers though. Ah, oh, here's Webertons. Whoops. That's a middle middle. Nah, a little bit low. That's a very hittable pitch, though, if we we're looking at a strike zone. My goodness. What are we doing? The trip's been too long, dude. I'm, I'm brain dead now. This is like 12th kill of the trip. I don't think I've gotten 12 kills on a spindle trip on this account. You can get like 30, 40 plus kills with like chain mace, good DPS. Being on top of those spiderlings quickly and bringing a lot of restores so that you don't lose that much prayer. And then getting a couple restore drops, including like using the one I just got. You can have very lengthy trips. 
Another low middle. I I'm messing up the webs pretty hard right now. Let's go ahead and sip that stam. I'm going to stand here. Yeah, he was going up, up north. Got it. GG's. We use that spec life. Weak. Send it, dude. Weberton's on the next attack now. Didn't matter. Cash and the Blighteds, though. Hmm. We're doing the bank trip. We're doing the one the one banky. Dude, now we're going to end up hopping so much. We'll see, though. We didn't have to have the, the full hopping conversation because I got lucky on the hops earlier. 190k in loot after all that, though. I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the worst um, screenshots for like an hour of loot from a bossing vid. We are not getting very good loot right now, but it happens, dude. You do a bunch of hours of a boss, you're going to make a lot of money, and then sometimes you're going to make no money. Sucks to suck, dude. I mean, we're still making some money, I guess. It's not no money. Why am I eating to heal up when I was heading to the duel arena anyway? I... I don't know. Uh, we got some dogs barking outside. I'm gonna pause that strength XP. I wish it would say pause here. It is pause, though. Hold up. Alright, hit me with the old unpause. And set up for another trip. Now let's go ahead and hit the pool first. I'll forget. I'll just teleport out there and start running out there. Ah, uh, put this away. Hit me with the supers. Not going to need as much restore because we're almost done with the hour, but we're still set up like regular tripeth for the most part. Kind of weak on the restores. Yeah, but we only have 10k XP to go. 12 minutes could be, eh, could be five or six more kills. I don't know. Let's see what we're at. 19 already. Yeah, I guess this is adding up. It's adding up. Not bad. I mean, the loot's been pretty bad. But still making some gains. Doing about 50k strength XP an hour. Pretty nice for trying to get even more DPS. The higher the max hit, the better. So I need some more strength levels. In fact, I've been doing... When I do my Nightmare Zone runs, I've been getting attack XP. I did squeeze out 80 defense and go back to attack life. Um, just because I know that during a lot of my bossing right now, if I'm doing any melee life, I'm getting strength XP out of bossing. So that's going to be leveling me up eventually. It's been a couple minutes since we were in here. Let's see if the world was already taken. It was. So let's hustle up, dude. It's usually very packed out here, so I'm not surprised that the world was taken. I am surprised how quickly we found a new one the last time. Even the first time when I skipped, it was only like four hops. Last time was only one hop later. But uh, this is the worst part of the boss right now. The place is generally pretty packed. And it, it really is bots. It really is mostly bots. <laughs> some people, some actual people are out here fighting the boss. Not that many of us. <laughs> Not that many of us. Again, it should be more motivation for having a lengthier trip. Really, with any boss, if you find that the run out to the boss or, like, finding an empty world, like, getting back into the fight, if you think that's one of the worst parts, then that should be something that's very motivating to try to try to learn how to get lengthier trips, set up your supplies more to, to get more kills per trip and whatnot. Cave is empty. We already found one. But that's that doesn't mean it's... Let me make it fun. Ah, again, we're at a half kill. Each time we found an open world, it was, like, half killed, too. Whatever, whatever. I don't really know when webs are happening, so I'm just staying by the wall. It could be this next attack here. It was not. So it should be three attacks in on this one. Oh, yeah, there's the other spiderling. I was going to say, why was there only one? There we go. Now we're getting started. Like 7k XP to go is only three or four kills, really. That's pretty quick. The hour goes by when you're making so much money. Oh, wait. The loot hasn't been great. Almost called. That's because I keep calling him Venonatus instead of Spindle. I was also about to start pleading for the good loot right now, but we're not getting anything on this kill. It's been almost... Oh, I got the wrong prayer on, so what's going on? Um, It's been almost like a full kill's worth of 
Like the the kind of half damage that she had each time I came in. So it could have been one extra kill in the hour too. You can, you can really squeeze out some decent KC here even if you're pretty low DPS. It also helps that we're like 50 plus minutes in without a PK or just just keep that going. Let's get the full hour with no PK or be kind of nice. Dealt with a lot of them on my Vedian hour, a few on my Venonatus hour. You always got to deal with PKers eventually. It just happens. That's what you sign up for for doing some wildy bossing. Usually what I try to convince people is you also sign up for very good loot though. You tend to make a lot of money. Sometimes you don't. It's not common to get pretty low cash in an hour out here, but definitely you're going to have hours where you just don't get that much loot overall. And then the fact that there's a little bit under a 1 in a 1,000 rate, so it's pretty rare. It's like 1 in 9, 12. But there's a chance to get a Void Waker gem from this boss right here, and that's like 50 mil. That's one of the big things about the average loot. Oops. Fucking up. Fucking up. There we go. Shouldn't be Webertons, right? Yeah, he's moving already, and now Webertons in the third attack. Sweet. Nah, the deck's gonna be gone before we get the kill, though. Not gonna count for the RNG. Please, ma'am. Yeah, I can't really ignore these spiderlings this time either. She's got too much health left. They'll be draining me. They'll be draining. GG's though, one hit range? Oh, it worked. Before I could even really say it. Gold ore. That's our first gold ore of the day. No way. Eh? What did it say the 180 gold ore was? 35k. Much better than a lot of the other ones. If we were getting 35k every drop. We wouldn't, uh, I'd be at like 700k in loot when I'm at 400k right now, so that's well above average what we have been getting. There we go, we're on our way back up. We're really doing it. Probably two more kills, about 2k XP per kill. We could probably squeeze in a third. Let's go for three more kills at the moment. Really haven't used that many efficient specs. Always have prayer points going on, but it's still like bonus damage whenever you use it. Even if you're missing 20 prayer points, it's just going to add some damage to whatever the hit was. So It's just straight up bonus DPS on the spec. Kind of nice. Thank you, Bludgeon. The more DPS, the merrier. It means the more kills per hour and the more times you can be disappoint. In the super compost, the limpies. The rune pickaxe. Hit that mage protect. Should be Webertons. Good stuff. That was clean. Here comes some spiderlings. Oh, they're pretty far out though. Chill, dude. Where's the other one? Oh, the Arshi blows. Kind of switch back early because I don't want to lose distance between me and the big spider. And then I did that for a 16. I'm an idiot. What can I tell you, man? It's just how it be. I fucked up. Okay, don't do that. Click on the spiders, not next to them. Look at that corner. Beautiful. Two hit range. One hit range. I want to ignore these spiderlings. Very nice. Dark crabs. I mean, nice for a longer trip. But ironically, this won't be the longer trip. Put some of these in looting bag, though. More banked food. 
Uh, it's just about one kill left, really, for the XP, but we'll see how fast the kill goes. We can probably squeeze in a second. It'll be like an hour and two minutes of spindle. <laughs> nice, dude. Bonus two minutes. Uh, this is going to be 22nd kill of the hour here. It's like 22, maybe 23 kills in the hour for this setup. Not that bad. Not that bad. Especially with the hopping was nice. Having to hop worlds really went super well. Weak hits. I might as well sip up the supers because I'm having a short trip anyway. I don't really see the other spiderling, so I'm just going to keep fighting. Oh, there he is. Like on the spider, dude. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's getting late. It has to be late. It's some of the best time to do wieldy bosses. Though it was like 2.30 in the afternoon when Blue got the dragon pickaxe from Calvaryon. He was doing some real, like, prime time wieldy bossing. It depends how you think of prime time. Not prime time for wieldy bossing, but prime time as in more players are on the game and it's prime time to play the game and he still went out and did wieldy bossing. Just because there's more people logged in doesn't mean there will be more PKers that happen to find you. It just means there's a better chance. Which means, yeah, at any time of the day, you can make some wieldy boss gains. I like four in the morning. That's that's a good time for me. Doesn't make a huge difference. Because by, by four in the morning, my time, there's enough EU PKers on that uh, we're still, we're still going to see some PKers. Maybe not, though. Actually, we're a kill and a half away from getting the full hour of spindle with not great loot, but not that many PKers either. We take those. It is going to be looking like this is last kill, though. We're right about at that hour of XPs. Again, don't know where the other spiderling is. No, I see him. I see him. Get it. Beautiful. Send me home, spindle. Maybe not yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Sip, sip. Sip, sip. Oh, we got it. GG's for the cannonballs. I actually kind of like the cannonball drop. It's another like 30k average. But uh, we're trying to stack up some more cannonballs in general. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just toss that loot on the stream right now. Get that screenshot. Uh, 22 spindle kills, just about an hour. Yeah, hour in the dot right now. Um, not the best loot for 22 spindle kills without a doubt, but still not like that bad overall. 70k in cash, a couple of alks, so almost 100k cash, 27 noted diamonds, the gold ore in there. So it's like a general nice uh, like pot of supplies, but it, it could have been a lot better. It's definitely one of the worst hours I've had. It's still like generally not that bad. It's just really inexpensive shit if you're looking at it from a mains perspective. And zero PKers in the hour, which is very uncommon. I wouldn't say very uncommon, but kind of. I mean, since the update, there's been more PKers. I definitely went a lot more hours in a row without seeing PKers before they like updated Willy Bosses and people went back out there. But uh, getting a full hour without PKers is kind of nice, while also not having to hop too many worlds and whatnot to find an open world. That was a solid hour of Spindle Life. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. If you enjoy this a uh, little bit more live form content, a little bit more long form content, you might enjoy the Twitch side of things. Uh, I do stream on Twitch, which should be linked on the screen and in the description. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. I have a Discord. Those are both linked in the description. Uh, also, my Venonatus Guide linked in the description. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.